MCAT 2017 CRAM Critical Analysis and Reasoning Skills Passage 28 Tools for Thought As you view the reading of the passage, you'll notice some highlighted snippets of text. What I want you to do is garner meaning from these specific selections in order to answer the foundations of comprehension, reasoning within the text, and reasoning beyond the text that questions that follow. Good luck and happy reading. Paragraph 1. The tools we use to think change the ways in which we think. The invention of written language brought about a radical shift in how we process, organize, store, and transmit representations of the world. Although writing remains our primary information technology, today when we think about the impact of technology on our habits of mind, we think primarily about the computer. Paragraph 2. My first encounters with how computers change the way we think came soon after I joined the faculty at Massachusetts Institute of Technology at the end of the era of the slide rule and the beginning of the era of the personal computer. At a lunch for new faculty members, several senior professors in engineering complained that the transition from slide rules to calculators had affected their students' abilities to deal with issues of scale. When students used slide rules, they had to insert decimal points themselves. The professors insisted that doing that required students to maintain a mental sense of scale, whereas those who relied on calculators made frequent errors in orders of magnitude. Additionally, the students with calculators had lost their ability to do back-of-the-envelope calculations, and with that, an intuitive feel for the Material. Paragraph 3. That same semester, I taught a course in the history of psychology. There, I experienced the impact of computational objects on students' ideas about their emotional lives. My class had read Freud's essay on slips of the tongue. With its most famous first example, the chair of a parliamentary, parliamentary session opens the meeting by declaring it closed. The students discussed how Freud interpreted such errors as revealing a person's mixed emotions. A computer science major disagreed with Freud's approach. The mind, she argued, is a computer, and in a computational dictionary like we have in the human mind, closed and open are designated by the same symbol, separated by a sign for opposition. Close equals minus open. To substitute close for open does not require the notion of ambivalence or conflict. When the chairman made the substitution, she declared, a bit was dropped. A minus sign was lost. There was a power surge. No problem, the young woman turned a Freudian slip into an information processing era. An explanation in terms of meaning had become an explanation in terms of mechanism. Paragraph 4. Today, starting in elementary school, students use email, word processing, computer simulations, and virtual communities. In the process, they are absorbing more than the content of what appears on their screens. They are learning new ways to think about what it means to know and understand. Paragraph 5. There are a number of areas where I see information technology encouraging changes in thinking. There can be no simple way of cataloging whether any particular change is good or bad. That is contested terrain. At every step, we have to ask as educators and, and citizens whether current technology is leading us in directions that serve our human purposes. Such questions are not technical, they are social, moral, and political. For me, addressing that subjective side of computation is one of more than significant challenges for the next decade of information technology in higher education. Technology does not determine change, but it encourages us to take certain directions. If we make those directions clear, we can 
more easily exert human choice. And that's it. Based on the passage, the author most likely believes that it is important to understand the influence computers have on people because such understanding will a enable people to make computers serve human purposes b increase the importance of information technology in the next decade c improve people's ability to deal with issues of scale or d help prove that the human mind is a computational object i'll give you a moment to think the answer should be fairly obvious all right to understand the author's points of view in the last paragraph the author asserts quote at every step we have to act as educators and citizens whether current technology is leading us in directions that serve our human purposes. The author then closes with the statement, quote, technology does not determine change, but it encourages us to take certain directions. If we make those directions clear, we can more easily exert human choice. Okay, this is stated um, uh, in paragraph five. Her premise is that Articulating and understanding the effect that tools have on our way of thinking help us to better optimize those tools to serve our needs, which is basically what Andrew Choice A is saying in a nutshell. Okay, the passage does not offer any conjecture um, regarding can. Uh, information about how this understanding might change the importance of technology in the next decade. So answer choice B is incorrect. Although the example of how using a slide rule might have led to better understanding of scale than using a calculator is included, this is not offered as a reason to better understand the influence of computers. And last, um, Actually, no, not last. The other cites examples of a student comparing the human mind to a computer, but the key idea is to show how learning about a tool can shape how we think about something, okay? The author doesn't discuss the desire to test theories about the human mind as a computational object. as the main reason to better understand the influence that computers have on people. All right, that's that. Of the following scenarios, which represents an example most similar to what the author probably means by the opening statement the tools we use to think change the ways in which we think. After a power outage, a person creates a plan for coping with such events in the future. B, a person gains a appreciation for abstract, well, an appreciation for abstract painting after learning a new theory of complementary colors. Um, C, an office manager increases productivity by installing new accounting software on the company's computers. I'll give you a moment to think. Okay, so this is a reasoning beyond the text question that basically wants you to apply the ideas implied in this claim it made in the passage to the new situations presented in the answer choices, okay? Having an event like a power outage does not change the way we think uh, by providing humans with fundamental new tools, okay? Although new accounting software represents a new tool, 
Any benefit of increased productivity may be a direct effect from the software and may not necessarily be a reflection of fundamental changes in the thinking of the humans who use it. So this was a tricky one. But the correct answer is answer choice B, okay? Um, exposure to a new way of thinking about complementary colors can change the way that an abstract painting is appreciated. In this case, the new theory can be seen as a tool that alters um, perception and thought about the painting, all right? Okay. Which of the following passage assertions is most supported in the passage by evidence or examples? Is it A, computational objects have an impact on students' idea about their emotional lives? Is it B, when students use slide rules, they had to insert decimal points themselves? Is it C, students who use calculators lost their ability to do, quote, back of the envelope calculation? I'll give you a moment to think. All right. Okay, in this reasoning within the text question, uh, you have to explore the key claims expressed in the passage and then recall the evidence the author uses to support each claim but, and you have to analyze the strength of the evidentiary relationship among the component parts of this argument, okay? So in the third paragraph, the author asserts that um, computational objects have an impact on students' ideas about their emotional lives and offers evidence by including an example of a computer science major in her class who viewed Freudian slips as an information processing error rather than as a consequence of repressed emotions. So obviously the correct answer choice is going to be answer choice A. Um, let's, let's still look at these. The potential downside uh, to using a calculator uh, the author cites from past conversations with colleagues are anecdotal examples and not assertions that are further supported by evidence. All right, so yeah, this is where the road ends with these two answer choices. All right, okay. Which of the following passage assertions is presented as evidence that computers are affecting people's conception of the mind. Is it A, engineering students use calculators frequently, um, make mistakes regarding orders of magnitude? Is it B, students who use calculators lost their ability to do, quote, back of the envelope calculations? Or is it C, a computer science major interpreted a Freudian slip as an information processing error? I'll give you a moment to think. All right. Okay, so this is a reasoning within the text question, which means that it wants you to recall the evidence the author uses to support a key argument. The author presents examples of engineering students making more mistakes of scale when using calculators, okay? And losing um, their intuitive sense for calculation. But these are presented to ca characterize the loss of our particular skill set. These examples don't provide evidence that computers are affecting people's thinking about the mind. The author uses um, the example of a computer science major who interpreted a Freudian slip as 
and information processing era as evidence that computers are affecting people's conception of the mind. The student said, quote, a bit was dropped, a minus sign was lost, there was a power surge, no problem. This was mentioned in paragraph three. This offers an alternative to the Freudian paradigm of the mind and thus serves as evidence that computers are offering another metaphor for understanding um, the human mind. Thus, the correct answer choice is answer choice C.